Years of fond memories erased. Former baseball star and Rangers pitcher John Wetland accused of horrific child abuse. Details too graphic to share. Matt Howerton is live in the newsroom. Matt, Wetland is idolized in the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame. So how's the team reacting tonight? Well, John, we've heard very little from the Rangers this evening, specifically when we asked if Wetland would remain in the team's Hall of Fame because this arrest, no doubt, tarnishes what many would call a successful baseball career. The year is 1996. Hayes waits. The Yankees are champions of baseball. John Wetland is on top of the world awarded MVP of the World Series after pitching four saves in the final out against the Braves. And the Rangers win. He then became the all-time saves leader for the Rangers after signing in 1997. And that ball is out of here. It even earned him a spot in the team's Hall of Fame. But fast forward to 2019, and Wetland's life is now very different. On Monday, he was arrested, charged with continuous sexual abuse of a child under the age of 14. Court documents say the alleged abuse happened in Bartonville between 2004 and 2006. It's where Wetland lived at the time. Those same court documents say he assaulted the same child on three separate occasions. And those assaults are too disturbing to describe. You don't even know what to say about something like this. Wetland's arrest this consumed sports relative. talk radio all day. Longtime host of the ticket, Mike Reiner, covered Wetland when he played with the Rangers in the late 90s. The guy was really, really good at what he did, but this today, that's a whole nother matter. At Globe Life Park, the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame Museum was closed this evening. We asked the Rangers if the organization was planning to remove Wetland after his arrest. A spokesperson only told us the team was made aware of what happened and had no further comment. But Reiner was more than happy to offer up his thoughts. The Rangers need to distance from him as far and fast as they can. Now we uh, went to Wetland's home today for comment and a woman there claiming to be his wife told WFAA that he is 100% innocent. As we learn more developments on this story, we'll keep you updated. Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News. All right, Matt.